understanding what reality is is very, very important to me. Uh, I think it should be important to everybody. And I think the more that people become perhaps what they call spiritually aware or awake, they're starting to see through things and how things have been manipulated and reality has been created for them. If God forbid everybody came and started demanding answers, and once they can't provide those answers, people realize they are busted. It can't be a mistake. It can't be anything but the deception and control mechanism it is. Because people are waking up. And no matter how much they try to suppress this flat earth movement, oh, it's going to keep moving one way or another. You can see it. People are waking up. So now, louder than ever, I can hear that clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. to call out Joe Rogan for talking crap about me and talking crap about my mama. He's been doing it for too long. Me and my mama will tell you right now this earth is flat. It ain't moving around at no 600 something thousand miles an hour, spinning a thousand miles an hour and floating through the universe constantly. Okay? This earth is flat, it's fixed, and the stars and stuff rotate around us. The sun rotates around us. Okay, and I can prove that. I would love to debate you, Joe Rogan, because I'm tired of you making fun of flat earthers. And if you're so confident, come on and debate me, buddy, because I'm tired of this crap you're posting. You want to post a video today um, about a mathematician that says the universe is local, but it ain't real. What does that even mean? That's a bunch of mumbo jumbo crap, brother. And the guy is holding a trident in the picture. And y'all think I'm crazy for thinking that this is a religious thing. He's holding a trident, a symbol of the devil. They're trying to feed you these lies to make you think that science is right and that, that God didn't create this universe, the Big Bang did. Okay, I used to be an atheist because I used to believe that this universe was created by the Big Bang. I used to believe all that crap from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay, and... I'm just so sick and tired of hearing your crap, Joe, about flat earth, uh, flat earthers being stupid. Boy, I'll smoke you in a debate. You, you, I will smoke you, and, and there ain't nothing you can do beat me in a debate, brother, because you ain't got no proof. Gravity ain't real. It's density. This paper, when it drops, it's because it's more dense than the air around it, not because of some magical thing called gravity. There is no proof of gravity. Brother, there's only proof of density. That's why hot air balloons float, because of hot air being less dense. Okay? Not because a hot air balloon is an anti-gravitational device. And I will debate you right to your face, and I'm tired of this crap that you're posting. I'm tired of you making fun of flat earthers, because you got one right here that will bring it to you. And I know you won't accept this challenge. Actually, no, I don't know, but I bet you won't. I bet you'll sissy out. And that crap you're posting, it's leading people away from the Holy Spirit. This this universe wasn't created from no Big Bang. I don't care what Neil deGrasse Tyson says. And we didn't land on the moon. And Neil deGrasse Tyson knows we didn't land on the moon. He's lying about it too. Okay? All these people are lying, brother. And all you're doing is leading people away from the Spirit. When When you understand that God created this universe, then you'll understand that there's no need for all this Big Bang and this and that, and, and it's all a bunch of crap. That's why the stars, the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper, are in the same position they've always been in. Because the universe ain't constantly expanding. Okay, so here's the uh, the picture of the Earth from uh, from space. There it is. Since you were a kid, you've seen this image. But uh, you've never seen it from that point of view. You've never seen that with your eyes from that scale of a model, that point of view, from outside of the planet's surface. But your brain has three-dimensionalized, oh yeah, that's the Earth. How? Through repetition. Next image. How do we get to this point of the image? I think this is funny. Next image. Well, here's the, uh, the first image that sold the whole thing. As you can see, that's clearly the universe. I mean, that's clearly the universe. I mean, there's the sun. I mean, I could recognize that thing. It's a bullseye. It's like a planet. It's an egg. 
whatever. But there you go, you got each rung, the whole thing. 1482, this is when they came up with this idea. We are on that thing, it's a ball. Hey, we should go to the North and the South Pole. We didn't do it yet, it's a ball. Hey, nobody's even like jumped up high enough to see if it is a ball. You can't do that, we don't have planes yet, it's a ball. You know what, we adopted this whole model like four or five hundred years before the airplane. 400 years before the airplane, pretty much. Like, what, like, beginning of the 1900s? They went to the North Pole in the 1900s. This is 1482. Nobody went to the top of the globe, to the bottom, or flew up, or built a skyscraper. That's it. It's been a decade since like Columbus hit America. That's it. You had Spinoza, Lebanese, everybody was fighting to say what they were on, how much land there really was. Real estate, right? Real estate, the only commodity that appreciates besides art, right? These are the only things that appreciate. Everything's depreciating except those two. It's funny how these two are gonna meet and what I'm gonna talk about. Next image. It's funny that we said that this is, the, this is what we're in right now, this is what we're on, before any instrument of proof, until, pause. Can you do it? It's funny, back in the 60s when, when they went to the moon, this is the first time we actually had like an instrument of flight to actually go high enough to actually check out if what we agreed to 500 years ago was real. So if they were wrong after 500 years, the question is, would they tell you? Pan tam był. Czy Ziemia rzeczywiście jest kulą zawieszoną w kosmosie? Jest płaska. Tak jak oczekują oni. Nie spodziewałem się co prawda tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że jest płaska. Generał Mirosław Hermaszewski, jak dotąd pierwszy i ostatni Polak, który odbył lot orbitalny. Dziękuję serdecznie za rozmowę. Dzięki. Dziękuję, kłaniam się. Jest płaska. Tak jak oczekują oni. Nie spodziewałem się co prawda tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że... One. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. Two. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Three. The plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today. And it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to be to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Four. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on Space Station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. So we have a really robust exploration program at NASA. Five. And unlike the previous program, we are setting a course with specific and achievable milestones. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. 
There's no place to go. The Earth is a closed system. The Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. 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 The Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth.